calling all teams and players. Get into the box. Arizona Box Lacrosse presents the Best in Box Invitational starting in June. League practices will be held to prepare for a six-week game series sponsored by String King. Get into the box. Register today at azboxla.com. The Arizona Lacrosse League is on the air on APNVideo.com. And tonight from Pinnacle High School. implications all over the place. A must-win situation for Pinnacle under their second-year head coach Ben Jones, a former president of the league, has donated uh, countless hours to the league and uh, does a lot with the youth lacrosse here in Arizona. And his team is led on defense by senior Max Jacoby, a very tenacious player on the defensive side. On the offensive side, they've been without Jacob, strips him up for uh, several games this year, but he's back and hoping to have a big finish here to the season. Bill Casey, Mr. Westside Lacrosse, and the Arizona Box Lacrosse main sponsor. And they are led by one of the top face-off specialists in Matt Hardig. He leads the state in face-off wins this year. Here is our projections going into the final couple of games of the season. We've got the top three are already a lock, South Point, Notre Dame, and Desert Vista. And it will most likely stay South Point, Notre Dame, DV, 1, 2, and 3. But Glendale's in a situation. They come in with a record of 7-3 and three under their longtime head coach, Bill Casey. And for them to get and keep that number four spot, which would mean they would host the first round playoff game, they're going to have to get at least one win either tonight or Saturday at Gilbert. If they lose both, they would drop to the number five spot, assuming that Boulder Creek is going to win out, and we project they do. Now for Pinnacle, they have to win tonight. That would put them at five and six, and they have South Point in their next game. We're not projecting a victory there, no offense, but we're Projecting that Pinnacle will finish 5-7. and seven. Uh, A victory tonight would eliminate Mountain Ridge from the playoffs in that eighth spot, but they would need help from this Glendale team Saturday in order to beat Gilbert. That would put Ben Jones' team into the playoffs. If Gilbert wins that game, regardless of what happens here tonight, it looks like Pinnacle will be on the outside looking in. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. But we got the playoffs all straightened out here. The two goalies led by Glendale's Robbie Doran and Danny Bottom, the junior. And when we come back, all the exciting play-by-play -play action. It's the Arizona Lacrosse League on APN Video Sports. Calling all teams and players. Get into the box. Arizona Box Lacrosse presents the Best in Box Invitational starting in June. League practices will be held to prepare for a six-week game series sponsored by String King. Get into the box. Register today at azboxla.com. All right, we're back here at Pinnacle High School. We're getting set for the start of this game. And what a job this year by Glendale's Matt Hardig. Glendale coming out in the all-black with the red lettering. As he battles for face-off X, and Pinnacle gets the first win, Diego Oliverio, and this game is underway. But an outstanding job by Williams. He pried that one loose. Far side, Verbalitis trying to save it, can't do it. You're watching the Arizona Lacrosse League on APN Video Sports. It's our game of the week. No score, we're just underway, and it's good to see Zaman Williams, who has been out for a few games. 31 points on the strength of 17 goals, 14 assists. He also has 31 ground balls, which is second on the team. Matt Hardig with 79, but Hardig with 157 faceoff wins, number one. In fact, our one of our our second to last Arizona Lacrosse League game of the week had Glendale and South Point, and you had the two best faceoff guys in the state going head to head, Max Manka and Matt Hardy. Again, to reiterate the playoff implications on this game, let's start with Pinnacle. 
who right now would be the eighth seed. A victory tonight would eliminate Mountain Ridge, and they would need a victory. They're going to need a victory by Glendale this coming Saturday at Gilbert. If Gilbert wins that game and Pinnacle goes on and loses to Sal Point next week, even with a win tonight, Pinnacle would be out. Frankie Armenta's Tigers would be in if they can beat Glendale. That would give them their fifth win. They would be 5-7. and seven. Pinnacle, we assume, probably will not come up victorious against Sal Point. And so if the two teams are tied at 5-7, and seven, the tiebreaker goes to Gilbert because they won head-to-head. -head. Now, when you talk about Glendale, the top four teams in the playoffs get a home field advantage in the first round, and that's very important for any team. Good cut by Jacob Knippel. The rebound, Zach Ray was battling in there. Loose ball. It looks like Glendale's going to lose it. Turn this one over to the Pinnacle Pioneers. No score, first quarter action. So Glendale, right now 7-3 and three by way of record. We're projecting that Boulder Creek is going to win out and finish 8-4. and four. Now Glendale has the tiebreaker with Boulder Creek. They beat them earlier this year. So if the two teams end up in a tie, Glendale goes. So Glendale, all they have to do to maintain that number four spot is either beat Pinnacle here tonight or Gilbert next week. If they go 0-2 and, and as projected, Boulder Creek to finish 8-4, and then Boulder Creek will be hosting their first round playoff game. Either way, Glendale and Boulder Creek are going to be playing in the quarterfinals next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, and that will be our APN Sports Arizona Lacrosse League Game of the Week. Opportunity time for Pinnacle, and the shot by Logan Powell, one of the seniors on this team, a little wide. So a pitcher's duel in the making here from Pinnacle High School. No score on our Arizona Lacrosse League coverage. Here's a quick shot. And that one by Robbie Dorn, saved by Robbie Dorn. Good to see Robbie back. Had a knee issue. It kept him out the entire season, but he's hoping to have a big game here tonight for Glendale. Here's a shot, big rip right there in the high crease. Nothing doing. Shot taken by the sophomore Patrick Coyle. Here in quarter number one. So a lot of playoff implications on the line. Pinnacle coming off a 13 to 10 loss at Boulder Creek. And Boulder Creek is a team, I don't think you, I don't think anybody really wants to play these guys right now. They're red hot. They've got several of the, I think, top players in the state, including, um, I forgot his name now. <laughs> Del Arario, um and Hartman. They've got some outstanding players, no question about it. But they're coming off a 13-10 loss at the hands of BC, while Glendale beat Arcadia 17-8. And we mentioned they have Gilbert next. This, for the Pioneers, they've got South Point down in Tucson on Saturday. The point differential pinnacle is a negative 24. If you're wondering, Glendale is a negative four. They have had wins, Glendale that is, over Brophy, Chaparral, Boulder Creek, Corona, Chandler, Mountain Ridge, and Arcadia. And it was the first time that a Glendale team has beaten Chaparral and Brophy in the same year. And in fact, I think it's the first time they have beaten those two teams ever. Here's a nice looking dodge here. Give it up to the cutter, and that's an outstanding save by the junior Danny Bottom. No score, first quarter action. Pinnacle will race it up towards midfield. Loose ball, nice corral over on the far side by the freshman Dylan Anderson. 
unless Ben Jones brought up someone from the JV team or the Division II team they have, I think Dylan Anderson is the only freshman on his roster. He's got a lot of seniors this year. And Verbalitis is only a junior, so he's going to come back next year. But they're going to lose Jacoby. They're going to lose Powell, Force Vidro, Harden, to name a couple. Danny Bottom, a junior. Mitch Woods, a senior, one of their second leading scorer this year. So a scoreless tie as Glendale tries to clear. Nice job by the pole there. And they'll race it into the offensive half, led by Grant Warren, who has 31 points, tied for second on the team, and he's third in goals with nine assists. Where's the double zero? Now the ball carrier is Williams on the right side of your screen. Harassing. Check that time by Wood. Bottom once again. Another outstanding save here for the Pinnacle Pioneers, who come in here with a record of four and six. So it's Ben Jones, a former league president against, I, I affectionately call Bill Casey, Mr. Westside Lacrosse. Excellent job on the clear. And now the numbers in favor of Wood and the Patriots, but they can't get it to go. You're watching Division I Lacrosse here at APN Video Sports, our Arizona Lacrosse League Game of the Week. Well, it was an outstanding clear by Pinnacle, but unable to get that ball to the doorstep and find the back of the cage. Shripsimo will restart it. And only five games, 18 points. So when he left this team, I mean, that left a big void. And really could have used him in the one game that he did not play for sure was against Chaparral. It was a close game. They had gotten out to a big lead, and if he had Shripsima in there, it might have been a different story. He misplays that one, and Doran back to hustle, and outstanding job by Robbie Doran, who is the starting, uh, starting uh, goalie here for the Glendale Vipers, Cooper Brocious, who took care of business through the first 10 games, but this is Robbie's second game back, and he has saved over 60% shots against. Now Glendale with a chance, and it's going to be intercepted, and a takeaway out in front of the crease by the sophomore, Paul. And that's Patrick Coyle, and he'll quickly get it upfield. Pinnacle again. Here's Wood, a two-man game. The shot, and Doran again. So Ronnie Gabrisco with 15 points, 14 ground balls. He's had 11 goals and four assists taking the shot, coming up empty-handed. A couple of saves so far for the Glendale goalie, Robbie Doran. Now on the restart, Pinnacle looking to draw first blood. Verbalitis, and he's not afraid to shoot from downtown, way out there, and he does, and he rifles that one, but it was a little wide to the right, and Doran looked like he was all over it. No score, first quarter action. Playoff implications abound in this one. Shrimp some up. Out front. And a big shot caught Pipe City, and it goes out of play. So Verbalitis with a big-time, powerful shot. Williams very fortunate that he was not called for a cross-check there. And Glendale has the possession here in a scoreless tie. We apologize. There are some really dark areas on this field. I think it would have been kind of nice if Glendale had come out as Hardig with the restart. Outstanding clear by Matt Hardig, the faceoff specialist who leads 
the state, but then he has it pried loose, and that was just a matter of holding on to the ball too long. Pinnacle looking to get on the board first with Max Jacoby. So Jacoby able to get it into the offensive half. Now Pinnacle, big shot, verbalitis, top shelf, and he's found the promise land, but hold the phone. They're waving it off. Offsides, Pinnacle, it'll be Glendale possession, and we're still scoreless. How about that? You're watching APN Sports and our coverage of the Arizona Lacrosse League. First quarter action, and we have yet to see either team put one into the back of the cage. Here's a shot, bottom, outstanding job, and actually that might have gotten Pipe City that time. Lindell will restart it at midfield. Dylan Olson on our high atop camera here at Pinnacle High School, over here on the walkway. Here's the dodge, hands free, and Danny Bottom rising to the occasion again for the Pinnacle Pioneers. Loose ball out in front of the crease, usually very dangerous, trying to corral it and finally does. Is Jack Wagner, Wagner the uh, outstanding junior, Jack Wagner. Strips him up down, bottom shelf. He puts Pinnacle on the board and breaks the ice here in the first with the score. His first goal of the contest gives Pinnacle an early one to nothing lead. Hardig back out there in his 157 face-off wins here in 2018. Well, we're going to get two face-off wins here for Pinnacle to start with. And obviously for Sam Oshner and Pinnacle, they cannot allow Matt Hardig to dominate this game in face-off X. We saw that with Notre Dame, and I, you know, especially as the game came down to a one-point affair between Notre Dame and Sal Point, but it was Max Manka who dominated one probably, I think it was 18 of the 21 face-offs in that game. Nice move, back and forth, ground ball picked up, shot too high. Drake Forsythe, the senior. Johnny on the spot, he got that loose ball off the rebound on the missed shot from the right wing of Pinnacle. And now Tripsma, who has the only goal of the contest, going to work. A little Question mark Dodge had it broken up. That's an outstanding defensive play. Tegan Williams, 69 for Glendale. Pried that one loose. Forced the turnover, but then we got a push away from the ball. Give it back to Pinnacle, who leads it here in the first, one to nothing. Arizona Lacrosse League Game of the Week is brought to you by the Arizona Box Lacrosse, azboxla.com. If you know Bill Casey and you're interested in, you know, shoring up some skills over the summer and increasing your speed, Box Lacrosse is outstanding. Here's another shot and another scored. Drake Forsythe rattles the back of the cage. Two to nothing in favor of Pinnacle here in the first. This is our third face off and Glendale finally gets a win. Neither team has committed a, an infraction. No one's been a man down or up so far. Williams, excellent pass. You got that cutter right there at the doorstep. Couldn't hold on to the pass. You can see the talent that lies within that long stick midfielder, Zaman Williams for the Glendale Vipers. 
They trail it two to nothing. They need a goal. Verbalitis, he's dangerous. Turned away. That's Robbie Doran again. Excellent job by Robbie. And now the clear for Glendale. Good check on the far side by Pinnacle. And that is the end of quarter number one. We head to the second. Pinnacle leads it by a score of two to nothing. This is our Arizona Lacrosse League game of the week. And we'll be back. Jeff Lowry back here from Pinnacle High School in North Scottsdale on a beautiful night for Arizona High School lacrosse. Big playoff implications on the line. Pinnacle has won three of the first four faceoffs thanks to Verbalitis and that ground ball. He leads the team in goals and assists and just about every category and also in ground balls with 33 now. 2-0 lead, Shremsema scoring in the first quarter along with Foresight. Glendale held scoreless and a big reason why, possession. It's all about possession and Pinnacle won that battle in the first quarter. Now going to work, Gabrisco trying to bull dodge his way in there but uh, an excellent slide there on the defense. They work it to the far side of the field and the shot is no good by Pinnacle. So Logan Powell pulling the trigger. I believe it was Logan on that, that last shot. 2-0 Pinnacle here in quarter number two. So Jacob Shripsma going to work here. He's the senior attack. Work it around the Mitch Wood. Now starts his dodge straight ahead. Trying to clear up that right hand. He will. He tried to ground ball that one in there. Almost raked that one in there. And backing it up nicely was Jacob for the Pinnacle Pioneers, who lead it 2 to nothing here in the second quarter. Special thanks to Bill Casey and Ben Jones for all the information they give us throughout the years. And two of the good guys in this league, no question about it. And, of course, Ben was the league president here for several years. He's doing a lot with the youth lacrosse here in the Valley of the Sun, which I think that's so important if we're going to develop lacrosse players. Intercepted. Here's a nice turn takeaway here at midfield. And now Pinnacle will settle in six on six with Cooper. So Joseph Cooper, four points, four assists this year, nine ground balls. Could well make it ten. And now Carson Chapman. Over to Jacob. Jacob working out of X as they make a couple of substitutions, including Parker Anderson, the senior. Senior midfielder. Now Jacob's going to work. He'll go up with a strong left hand. Good defense pushing him away from the net. And here in the second quarter, Pinnacle in the white tops and the navy or dark blue Shorts leads it two to nothing over the Glendale Vipers who come in here seven and three. Shot. And Doran again, and he's had a handful of saves through this first half already. So the restart belongs to Mitch Wood, the senior. Senior attackman, 35. Now work it back over to 44, Gabrisco. And he's the sophomore that they are hoping Next year, we'll be hooking up with Verbalitis for uh, 100 points. Between those two players, that's what they're hoping for. They lose Jacob Tripsma, and they're going to lose Powell, the two of the three starters, and Mitch Wood. They're going to lose all three attackmen to graduation next year. Second quarter action. Up top, Cole. And can he free those hands up? That's some good, strong defense from Williams. Long stick midfielder for Bill Casey and his Glendale Vipers. Lose that one. Couple of nice checks there. A little lumberjack check. 
Trying to chop down a tree there. Good job by Jacob Knippel and his relentless defense. Nearly turned it over and now this one hits the pipes and comes out the pinnacle will retain possession Patrick Coyle number 48 44 is Gabrisco Shrimpsma dominant hand the left shot and corralled Robbie Doran Glendale coming up with the big save That keeps it two nothing pinnacle in what has been a defensive titanic struggle between these two teams. Look at this ball going all the way down. Opportunity time. Oh my goodness, how did pinnacle not pick that up? And Zach Ray makes them pay. Zach Ray with his 27th goal of the season and that cuts the lead in half to two to one. That comes here in the second quarter, and we apologize. The uh, scoreboard is opposite of our direction here. Face-off win, and Glendale needed it. They trail 2-1 to one here in the second quarter. Trimsema and Forsythe have scored for Pinnacle. Zach Ray scored on really a, a broken play as he picked up the ground ball right out in front of the crease. And now a potential game tying shot, no good. So Pinnacle on the restart defensively here. Good check, nice job. Good ride there by Forrest Vedral. Now work it over to Reed Evans. Evans, 20, 27 goals. He has seven assists this year. And Glendale really needs a strong game from Reed Evans, who really hasn't had too many touches. He's going to get a touch here, try to free up that right-handed shot. That's his dominant hand. And right now, I'll tell you, I think Pinnacle's playing a little bit more physical than Glendale is from a defensive standpoint. And it paid off there. Excellent job on the check by the sophomore, Patrick Coyle. Now, in transition, here's Verbalitis. Pulls off the big shot off the face of Robbie Doran, and it's out of play. Another save. That's seven saves here in the first half for the Glendale goalie, Robbie Doran. Two to one is the score. Of course, Robbie's older brother, Patrick, played for Bill Casey a couple of years ago. Lindell looking to tie things up if they can get the ball back. And what has been the lowest scoring game we have had, at least at this juncture of the game, all year. That one bounced up there, and Glendale had it. Then he got tripped up, the ball carrier, and it's out of play. Now the restart belonging to Pinnacle. Josh Cooper over to Verbalitis. He faked the pass. He fooled everybody, including us. Now Joseph Cooper. Verbalitis, as we mentioned, 40 points back over to Cooper. Cooper with four and four for eight points this year. Working around the X, Chapman, and now Jacob. 2-1. Pinnacle has to win. They have to win. They have to win this game. If they don't, their chances are going to be very slim. It would force them to beat Sal Point. And that may not happen, especially down there in Tucson. Mountain Ridge is going to end the season at 5-7. and seven. They're playing right now at Notre Dame, and it's been all Notre Dame. Notre Dame is up 13-5 in the third quarter in that game. 
And that's out of play, and Glendale has a chance to equalize here, led by Tegan Williams on the restart, 69 for the Vipes. So with them, Mountain Ridge going to five and seven, I mean, I, let's face it, Pinnacle has to win here, and then they're going to turn around and beat Glendale and then ask them to beat Gilbert on Saturday. Stolen away, here's Mitch Wood. He can't keep a hold of it. And you got a loose ball out front. They battle for it. It's unsettled, and Al Doran's got it. Excellent job. As the game remains 2-1 Pinnacle here in quarter number two. As for Glendale, they're trying, they're clinging to that number four seed. They want to host that first round playoff game. But Boulder Creek is a team that's probably going to finish eight and four. Right now, the Vipers are seven and three. All they need to do is win one of the next two games, and they will be the number four seed. So they either beat Pinnacle or Gilbert. And so far, Pinnacle has looked very good here tonight. And maybe the better team right now. And you cannot take anything away from the Gilbert Tigers. They have had a tough season. But you can't tell me that Frankie Armenta, the head coach of that team, a good cutter there. Powell couldn't pull the trigger. Excellent job down on the defensive side there by the Glendale Vipers. And they're going to have the ball here. They need a timeout, and they're going to get it. In college, you can't call a timeout when it's on the defensive side of the field, but you can at the high school level. So it's 2-1 to one here in the second quarter. Grant Warren has not touched the ball all that much, and he's going up maybe against their top defender, Max Jacoby. The Coyle has had a big game here, spinning out in front and tying the game is Reed Evans and the goal counts. 2-2 Two -two tie as Evans ties it up. That's our first tie of the day. So Reed Evans with his 28th goal of the season. Face-off win for Glendale and we're even at three and we're going to get a flag down on the play. The dodge, the shot, the score. Glendale with lightning-like swiftness takes their first lead of the contest. And it's three to two as Z comes up big. Three straight goals unanswered for Glendale. And they get the face-off win and they have the advantage four to three in FOW. Face-off wins. Three to Glendale, their first lead of the contest. We've had one tie, we've had one lead change. Pinnacle scored the first two goals of the game and have not scored since the first quarter. We're in the second quarter, shot out front, broken up. And the unsettled ball belongs to the Pioneers. And here they come, Max Jacoby. This is a... I, I, probably the, the guy on this team that, that is the true team leader in terms of leadership and what he means to this team, very important. And nice job, nice attempt there by Patrick Coyle. And we're going to get a timeout. All right, back to live action here. Our Arizona Lacrosse League Game of the Week. We're coming to you from Pinnacle High School in North Scottsdale. Pinnacle in a must-win situation. They have two games left. This and their South Point game on Saturday. In desperate need of getting one of those games. They need a victory in one of those games. And hoping that Glendale will beat Gilbert on Saturday morning over at Gilbert Christian Middle School. Verbalitis on the pass. Good job, Doran. Denial. It's a Doran denial. And then he almost threw that one away. Can Glendale come up with a ground ball? Nope. That's Verbalitis. Did a nice job just running right through that ground ball. And now we'll pass to the weak side, and the shot is high. 
And a good challenge over there as Anthony Meadows probably saved a goal that time for Glendale, who leads it 3-2 to two here in quarter number two. Now Jacob moving right, now moves left. Goal line extended. Back up top it goes to Gabrisco. And Ronnie goes in strong with the left. That's uh, what we call a grandma goal because grandma thought it went in, but it was outside. And what a clear that time by Doran. Excellent job. And now Reed Evans, he loses it. Being harassed there defensively by the sophomore Gabrisco. And it's stolen away. Good job by Ronnie. And he'll send it all the way down. And this one's going to go out of play. And this is going to be the end of the first half. With the score, 3-2 Glendale. We'll be back with the second half in just a moment. All right, we're back here, our Arizona Lacrosse League game of the week, and it's been an interesting game, 3-2 to two in favor of visiting Glendale. They come out in the all-black uniforms, pinnacle in the white tops and the dark shorts. Scores by Shrimpsima and Forsythe, both coming in the first when pinnacle led 2 to nothing at the end of one. But Glendale scored three straight in the second. Pinnacle wins the faceoff, we're even at four, and right down the middle, Providing an opportunity, and Joran turns away Shrepsima, who got a great feed from Verbalitis. I'll tell you what, this is a young man that has missed the entire season, and he has been truly sensational here tonight. So a 3-2 lead for the Vipers, 7-3 coming in. Coming off a 17-8 victory over Arcadia in their last game. They do have a negative three now differential on the season, point differential. And they also have beaten Pinnacle three games in a row going back a couple of years. Dodge shooting, broken up from behind by Joseph Cooper. Good defense. Now the restart, here's Glendale. Jacoby is gonna be called for a hold here. Cold day, the, one of the officials, Adamick is out there, the Hall of Famer. So this will be a 30 second infraction and this is the first time that either team has been man up. It's been a relatively clean game. Jacoby's probably talking to Cole right now, asking why he made the call and Probably disagrees with the call. So a man up situation for the Glendale Vipers. As you're watching the Arizona Lacrosse League on APM Video Sports. So six on five for the Vipers. Looking to add on to a one goal lead here in quarter number three. Out of play, Vipers try to save it, and it's picked up there by Evans. Nice job on the pass, and what a phenomenal job by Danny Bottom, the goalkeeper for the Pinnacle Pioneers. Z on the takeaway, in transition, pulls the trigger and he leaves it wide to the right. Third quarter action, Glendale three unanswered goals in that second quarter, lead it three to two. Glendale trying to go up by two, takes the shot. Zach Ray not bashful there. Glendale restarting. They have controlled the 
possession time, no doubt about it, here in the early stages of quarter number three. Loose ball. Glendale continues to take care of business in terms of possession. Jacob Knipple with 14 ground balls coming into this game. Dodge, shot, score. Glendale up by two. And that was Zach Ray again. So Zach with his second goal of the contest, unassisted, four straight for the Glendale Vipers, who lead it four to two here in quarter number three. Another one, big time shot there, and that is Jacob's second. And that breaks a four in a row, and Pinnacle back to within one at four to three. That was impressive. Face-off win. Pinnacle bringing it down. And I'll tell you what, one of the keys to this game, Matt Hardig, 157 face-off wins coming into tonight's game in 10 games. I mean, that tells you something right there. And yet, Pinnacle has won in that, in that category. And I think if you're Ben Jones, you would say, look, I mean, if we can just put a big chunk into Matt Hardig's face-off wins in this game, he would be happy. I don't think you have to even be 50% or win 60 or 70%. You just got to put a big chunk in there and stay competitive there. Well, so far they have won, well, let's see, six of the 10. 4-3 game here, we're in the third. It's the Pinnacle Pioneers and the Glendale Vipers. Glendale battling for that fourth spot in the playoffs. Shripsima, did that one sneak in? No, it did not. And a nice job by Doran corralling that one. Four three Glendale. They scored four unanswered goals from the second to third. Loose ball out front. Tenacious play. Here's a ground ball picked up by Shripsima, and he's got the hat trick. Unassisted goal. Oh, hold on. They're going to take it away. They're going to take it away. We got a. Is this a uh, trip? Not sure what happened there. They're going to take the penalty. They're going to call that no goal. And so Glendale preserves a one goal lead, four to three, here in the third quarter in our Arizona Lacrosse League game of the week. Brought to you by AZBOXLA.com. Bill Casey and his Arizona Box Lacrosse. And backing up that play, we'll give Pinnacle the possession here as we come down to the final minutes of quarter number three. Jacob Shripsema will start it, restart it here for Ben Jones and his Pioneers. Dominant left hand, work it out top. Big right, save Robbie Doran. Loose ball, midfield, who wants it? Glendale thought they had the possession. We're going to get a slash, and it's going to go against Glendale, so that's going to put Pinnacle in a man-up situation. Only the second time here tonight that a team has been in a man-up situation, and both teams have one opportunity in man-up situations. So a man up for the Pinnacle team. So the Pioneers, six on five here. 
And looking to equalize here in the third quarter. Big shot. That one turned away by Robbie. Now the restart. Big shot. Oh, that's Verbalitis going top shelf. And we're tied at four apiece. That is the first one for Verbalitis. That makes it a 4-4 tie here in quarter number three. I'll tell you, that is a powerful, powerful shot. And one of the strongest shots, I think, in the state of Arizona. In fact, Max Freestone, the outstanding all-star goalie, as this one's taken away by Pinnacle, and they continue to get possession off faceoff. Seven of the first 11. But now Hart, Hartig came up with a ball, and then the tough defense and the check from behind, and that's going to turn it right back to Pinnacle. And now they got to try to clear it. A decent ride here by Glendale. Let's see how they do. Jacoby. Max Jacoby. Short stick def defender. Didn't see that very often. In fact, Jacoby has moved to like a, a midfield, and he's going to take the shot, but he's off the mark. So Max got the hands free, got the separation on the defender. It was a little bit off, and now the restart, Mitch Wood. 4-4 four, four tie here in the third. This has been a great one. Off the pipe, no good. Pinnacle trying to get possession, loose ball. The hot potato, who wants it? As they battle in there and give it back to Parker Anderson. Pinnacle who led it two to nothing at the end of one quarter. Gave up four straight to Glendale to trail 4-2 at one point. They've got goals from Jacob, who has two, and Verbalitis his first to tie it up here in the third, 4-4. Four, four. Jeff Lowry coming to you from Pinnacle High School. It's our game of the week. Now the dangerous verbalitis and Robbie Doran with yet another save. Double figures here tonight. And we got a timeout, injury timeout. All right, we're back here from Pinnacle High School in a 4-4 tie. And Glendale looking to clear it. Good job, good ride there by Mitch Wood, at least stopping the ball carrier momentarily. Now Verbalitis gets a call on the ball carrier, and Glendale will settle in on their 6-on-6 six -six offense here in the third. Loose ball, picked up by Glendale. That was an opportunity for Pinnacle to get it back. Pinnacle's defense has been very strong here tonight. They have had great effort. They've had great energy the entire night. And give some credit to the Glendale defense, because right now I think Pinnacle's probably had the ball more. They have owned possession more than Glendale. So Glendale holding this Pinnacle team, who's got some lethal scores to just four points as we are coming up towards the end of the third quarter. Here's Z going to work, but that one's pried loose on an excellent defensive play by Jack Wagner. Shot, that one came out. That was an excellent play by Verbalitis with the check from behind, and now he looks to clear and look for him to pull the trigger. No, he'll give it up to Jacob, and he goes top shelf, and he has the hat trick. So Shrimpsima from Verbalitis, that's his second point of the day. 
hat trick for Jacob. And Pinnacle leads it five to four. Here in the third quarter. So Pinnacle has scored three straight after falling down four to two. They lead it five to four. This is their second lead of the game. We've had two ties and two lead changes in what has been an instant classic here on APN Sports in the Arizona Lacrosse League Game of the Week. Coyle, the sophomore, he's had a strong game here. Lost it for a moment and now gets it back to the game high score. Jacob Shripsima looking to dodge, getting the left hand clear. Doran may have gotten a piece of it. 5-4 Pinnacle here in the third quarter. We should be uh, coming up pretty close to the end of this third quarter on our Arizona Lacrosse League Game of the Week. Pinnacle has to win this game. They've got Sal Point Saturday. That is not a very good matchup for Ben Jones's team, assuming that they don't win that one. If they win this one, they would need Glendale, this Glendale team they're playing tonight, to beat Gilbert on Saturday. And Pinnacle, because they lost head-to-head -to, -head to Gilbert. Big shot. Robbie Joran again. Boy, I'll tell you what, it's been a fine, fine evening for the Glendale goalie. Uh, oh, they turned this one over. He threw that one away. Nonetheless, a one-point affair. But more importantly, I think this game is more important to Pinnacle is if they lose this one, I think their season is over. Broken up. And a nice ground ball over there and a nice takeaway. And they're going to give this back to Pinnacle. I believe that was Mitch Wood over there who got the ball right back. So now the Pioneers looking to add on to a one-goal lead. Left-handed shot. And Patrick with the save. Tries to corral it. He does. Looking for an outlet. His team down by one here in the final stages of quarter number three. This is Williams. That's Jacoby on the check. And that's the end of quarter number three. So we head to the fourth. It's the Arizona Lacrosse League on APN. Pinnacle five, Glendale four. Fourth period of play, and it has been one of our better games this year. The Pioneers in a must-win situation lead it by a score of 5-4. to four. One big reason why Pinnacle has played so well, they have been outstanding in face-off X. And how about Jacoby coming up with that GB? So 5-4 is the score here. Jacoby and Reed Evans, his teammates, you could hear him barking out, hey, look behind you, look behind you. And that might have saved a turnover there. Kobe has went from the short stick to the long stick. Now a loose ball at midfield. Remember, if it goes back over on the other side, which it did there, it is an over and back call, much like what you would see in basketball. So five to four is our score here. I think Glendale really needs a goal here. Nice takeaway by the senior Forrest Vedral. And the end result, the Pioneers have it into their offensive half. Verbalitis, not afraid to take a shot. Boy, what a, what a tandem there. You got Verbalitis and Shremsema. Along with Mitch Wood and 
We haven't seen too much, uh, too many shots from Logan Powell in this game, but I don't think there's any doubt about it. Ben Jones has some lethal scorers on this team. Glendale down by one, Verbalitis working in. Now the alley dodge, pulls the trigger and rattles the back of the cage with a blistering shot. He's got three points tonight. That is his second goal. Pinnacle has scored three straight and enjoy a two goal lead that matches their largest lead. <laughs> the two goal lead is the biggest lead of the game by either team. Lindale's finally going to get a little reprieve at faceoff X. They win this one. Now over to Reed Evans. Williams, Knipple, back over to Jacob, back up to Z. Boy, I'll tell you, I think Glendale is in desperate need. Let's uh, update that scoreboard as the shot is turned away by Button. D check that, Danny Botton. Bottom has uh, played extremely well. well. Both goalkeepers have been sensational here tonight. But you get the sense, I mean, Glendale has not scored since Ray scored in the early stages of the third. Is this their opportunity? It was, but Knipple is going to be turned away by Danny Bottom, the junior goalie. But now they lose it, and a big, big play there by number 60. And, of course, that's Parker Anderson. But Glendale's going to get it right back. Glendale trailing by two. They let it, they trailed two nothing at the beginning of the or uh, back in the first quarter. Glendale on the restart. Grant Warren he's been held scoreless here tonight. Excellent check. Vedral chopping down the tree. That's a lumberjack check, and it's going to be a cross. Lumberjack check. So that's going to put Glendale, and this is exactly what Bill Casey's team needed. So a man-up situation here. Glendale with a golden opportunity to draw within one again. Now the restart. Shot. That one is off the face. In there now, number 84, Cole Rasis. Rasis. Cole is a an eighth grader. And he's out here in this game right now. In a very important time of the game. Number 84, an eighth grader. So keep an eye out for number 84 for Glendale with the all black uniforms. And right now, Isaiah Fuentes taking a shot, but it was backed up nicely by Pinnacle. And Jacoby and Pinnacle will be in possession here in the fourth quarter, leading by two. So far, an excellent clear for Max Jacoby. And we're going to get, I believe, a Pioneer timeout. No, it's going to be a Glendale timeout. All right, we're back to live action here. Jeff Lowry of the Arizona Lacrosse League, APN Video Sports, our website, apnvideo.com. You're getting a look at number 35, Mitch Wood, the senior. Senior attackman. Williams marks him up. Wood races it in the X. Looking for a cutter. Nobody there. The Vipers with the dark uniforms come in here with a 7-3 record. Pinnacle must win situation. Broken up. 
Fine play by Derek Baumgartner. And here's the clear, and here's Glendale going to work. Isaiah Fuentes in his 22 points this year. And he throws it away. Oh, that's a tough break for Glendale. They need a score. I mean, they need one right now. Because you got to figure the Pinnacle's not going to be held to just six goals for this entire game. And it's going to take maybe eight by Glendale to win this game. And they have been limited to four. Zach Ray's early goal in the third quarter is the last time that Glendale has found the promised land. And Pinnacle, opportunity, hands free, shot, score. Outstanding job, Gabrisco, his first of the night. Well, that makes it seven to four in favor of the Pinnacle Patriots, uh, Pioneers. Sorry about that, Ben. So the Pioneers, five unanswered goals here in the second half. Pinnacle continues to be a master of face-off X. And I think that's been a big reason why they've got the lead. Another great dodge. Are you kidding me? Parker Anderson in heavy traffic rattles the back of the cage and Pinnacle has scored again. That is six in a row. And it's eight to four and that's their largest lead of the night. So they continue to add on to their largest lead. They continue to get face-off wins. Here's a cutter. Well, that's a nice look. That pass was a little behind the intended receiver. And good hustle by Max Jacoby, the senior, but got there a little too late. It's out of play, and Glendale will have the possession. And they got, they got to do it now or never. They've got to string together a couple of goals if they're going to stay in this game. I'll tell you, I think Bill Casey might be using his entire roster here tonight. Good check. Good double team. Jacoby not called for a hold there. Glendale somehow retains possession. Williams. So Z Williams in trouble. Sideline wanted a foul there. Didn't get it. Williams still trying to come up with it, and he gets drilled, and he's going to be shaken up. They're going to stop play here. And this might be an unnecessary roughness here against Pinnacle. Let's get the call. So an untimely penalty that time by Pinnacle, though they do enjoy a four-goal lead here. Well, we got to stop and play here, and we're going to do a quick restart with Grant Warren. The Vipers in the all-black with the red numerals. All right, we restart it. Glendale up 6-5 in terms of personnel. Man-up situation for the Vipers. But they trail 8-4. And they need a goal desperately, and they've got to take advantage of this man-up situation. They have had three of them here tonight. Quick shot. Hardig is now at midfield. Number 17 for Glendale. He missed the shot, but Glendale backed it up. Closest to the ball when it goes out of play. On a shot, gets possession. Fuentes over to Knipple. Now they'll work it around. Here's Matt. Fuentes, 22 points coming in. Good defense by Pinnacle and a big time save by Danny Bottom. And the lead pass, outstanding. So the just a beautiful clear that time by the Pioneers, the home team here in the white tops and the dark shorts. They lead it eight to four. They have scored six unanswered points or goals 
to take a four goal lead. Verbalitis, and it was Robbie Doran turning the junior midfielder away on that shot. You're watching the Arizona Lacrosse League Game of the Week. We've got the seven and three. Seven and three Glendale Vipers against the Pinnacle Pioneers here on APM Video Sports. We're so glad you could join us. Remember for scores and schedules and news, in our Arizona Lacrosse League Game of the Week, go to ArizonaLacrosseLeague.com. Well, kind of a weak shot that time by Cooper, and it's corralled by Robbie Doran. So an 8-4 to four lead for Pinnacle here on APN Sports. Well, it was a nice clear by Williams, but he will look like turn this one over. And Max Jacoby's had an outstanding game here. Not just from the defensive side, but he's had ground balls and he's been able to really hold possession well at times for this Pinnacle team. Nice clear by number 41, Forrest Vedral. And a big time shot, Verbalitis again. His third, he's got the hat trick. He's got four points to lead all scores. And it is now nine to four. That is seven unanswered goals by the Pinnacle Pioneers. Face off win Glendale. They've won a couple here in a row, but right now they need points. And this pinnacle defense has been smothering. Fuentes, can he make something happen here? Good strong check there. Cooper Dirk, the sophomore. Up top to Z, starts his dodge. Moves right, goes right. Back over to Evans. He's not bashful, but he leaves it a little wide to the right, no good. Danny Bottom, the junior goalie, definitely one of the stars of the game here tonight for Pinnacle, who leads it 9-4 to four on APN. Turned away, Danny again. And the Vipers come up with a score, and Evans again. Well, good job by Zach Ray backing up the shot for the Glendale Vipers. We're in the fourth quarter. Seven unanswered goals by Pinnacle, and they lead it by five. Their largest lead of the contest, the biggest lead by either team. Can Williams get in there? That's a nice job on the double team, but a good slide there by Pinnacle, but he was able to free the... Get the hands free. That big over-the-top left-handed shot, no good for the Glendale Vipers. 9-5 pinnacle here in quarter number four. The thing I've been impressed with pinnacle here tonight has been their defense. And I'll tell you, it seems like they are challenging every shot, every ground ball, every 50-50 situation. And this time Glendale prevails. Williams is on the board for the first time, and Z cuts the lead to nine to five. So a nine five score for the Pinnacle pay, uh, Pioneers. It's a face-off win for Glendale, three in a row. Though the Pioneers still have a 10-7 advantage in that category. Here's the eighth grader 
as Cole goes to work. He goes bottom shelf, and Cole has found the promised land, the eighth grader for the Glendale Vipers. What a blistering shot. That makes it a nine to six ball game. Verbalitis gets a ground ball win. So nine to six is our score here in the fourth. Glendale has reeled off two straight. And just as I was bragging about how good this pinnacle defense has been all night long, they've just given up two quick scores. Nonetheless, I mean, it's been a great game for the most part. Verbalitis looking for a cutter. A little mismatch in terms of size, and that's going to happen with this guy, and we're going to get a quick timeout. This is APN Video Sports. And that's it. The ball game is over. There was uh, an incident on the other side of the field when we were in break, and with just seconds to go, the official said, that's it, it's a three-point game, and Pinnacle wins it by a final score of 9-6. to six. This has been a presentation of APN Video Sports, Arizona's leader in sports video coverage. So Jeff Lowry saying so long from Pinnacle High School. Pinnacle goes to 5-6 and six by way of record. Glendale drops to 7-4. and four. And until next time, our next Arizona high school lacrosse game will be the first round of the playoffs to be determined next week. So long, everybody. Calling all teams and players. Get into the box. Arizona Box Lacrosse presents the best. Calling all teams and players. Get into the box. Arizona Box Lacrosse presents the best in box invitational starting in June. League practices will be held to prepare for a six week game series sponsored by String King. Get into the box. Register today at azboxla.com.